interesting. We're joined now in the studio by zoologist and author Dr. Carol Shuker. Carol, where do these kind of beasts, first of all, you'd believe that, that, that that's true. Oh yes, there's no doubt about where that. Where have they come from? Um, a lot of these animals are kept as pets, believe it or not, in captivity. They're exotic animals that um, have simply been raised as cubs. And often when they get large, they, they become um, a little savage. They, they're very expensive to keep the food and so forth. So people simply release them. They release them more yeah, perhaps they, they, they Oh yes, I mean cats are very yeah. good at escaping. If they've been brought up in that situation where they're in captivity, how mm. do they manage when they're in the wild? Well of course cats have a great degree of instinct. I mean, hunting is an instinctual reaction with them. And, mm. Um, animals that are acclimatised to this country have right. no problem with the habitat. We can see here, now where, where is this from? This is, it's quite difficult to tell what that is, but what do you reckon that that could be? That Except, well, judging from the actual um, scenery in the background for scale, it's a very large cat. I mean, right. people say a black panther and it could well be. Right. But how dangerous is it? I mean, we've heard of attacks on mm. livestock. Yeah. Um, we've actually heard, and in fact, you've brought along a model. What, what particular well, animal? Well, actually, is that, that's a real animal. That was it's known as a jungle right. cat. It was from Asia, uh, its native habitat. But that was found in the Ludlow countryside in 1989. Ludlow, that was found. Yeah, so that's obviously escaped from the private right. collection yes. or something. Yes, that's right. And it was about five years old and had been uh, this type of animal had been reported by the local people for a long time, and mm. no one had believed them until this was found dead. Can they breed? I mean, would we find one another? Because I've heard stories about this from like the highlands, from all over the yes, place, from Exmoor, yeah. from everywhere. I mean, they can cover large That's territories. That's right. That is the point. They have huge distribution ranges in the wild. So yes, I mean, you know, a hundred miles or so is no problem for mm. them. They could meet up and they, and they could certainly mate. There have been reports mm. of animals with cubs. And they could survive? They could oh, the, cold, yeah, there's, there's no, yeah, well, the thing is, you see, if they've been raised in captivity, they are already acclimatised to our, our conditions, so there's no problem with that at all. God, oh, it's extraordinary. And just how worried should people be in, in New Zealand? Well, the, the fortunate thing is, I think the very fact they've been kept in captivity, they're used to humans, and unless people do something stupid like throw stones or shoot them or do yeah. anything or trap them, that there shouldn't be any problem. My advice is, if you see them, keep away from them. Just leave them yes, be. Yes, just leave them alone. Leave them be. Yeah. Kyle, thank you very much indeed. Thank Good you. to talk to you.